Well, here we are with Shauna. It's been a great week, yes, Shauna, to have you with 700 Club Canada. I've learned a lot. And thank you for sharing all your culinary expertise. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Us, right? We're getting ready for the weekend. Yes. Do you have plans for Thanksgiving? I do. My family's coming over. And it's also my husband's 40th birthday. So wow. it's a big weekend. Oh, yes. it's going to be a big bash. Big celebration. I think I'd like to be at your table. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're featuring the squash. Yes. Now, maybe this is a little overlooked vegetable in our life. Can I you think so. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, well, you know, it's not all about the pumpkin, right? I okay. mean, the pumpkin gets the, gets the whole show. So I wanted yeah. to show some of my other favorite types of winter yeah. squash. Uh, butternut squash is a classic, of course. Yes. It's so creamy. It's really popular in soups. Yeah. Um, we have the spaghetti squash. I don't know okay. if you've ever had spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash. It's so much fun. Let's hold that. I'll just lift yes. that up here. Look at the size of this. It's so Isn't it fun. beautiful? Kids love it. It's a great low-cal, um, low-carb alternative to pasta. Right. So once it's baked, you use a fork and scrape out the inside, yeah. and it looks like spaghetti. So it's, it's really amazing. fun. It's amazing. Trust me, I discovered this. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it replaces my pasta sometimes. Yeah, exactly. The and next one is the acorn squash, yeah. which is probably one of my favorites to just have it quartered, uh, brush some olive oil, maple syrup, salt yeah. and pepper, and roast it. Mm. And the skin is very, uh, very thin, so you can eat the skin. So you get a really? lot of nutritional uh, benefits in this one, a lot of fiber when you eat the skin. Yes. Did you know that? So don't I peel did not the acorn. Know that. No. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yes. I'm sure this one is just decorative, but yes, what about this one? Beautiful, nonetheless. <laughs> the, this bumpy little fellow, that's the yep. Hubbard squash. It's probably okay. a bit more intimidating, I would say. Uh, but this one is really this bright uh, orange on the inside. Oh, and it's a cross between a sweet potato and a pumpkin in flavor. So very wow. sweet, and it's great in curries and stews. Yeah, I love Very that one. Very good. Yes. Well, you know, it's tricky. Oh, yes, tell us about this yeah, final one here. one more here. I wanted to talk about yeah. is the buttercup squash. Okay. I'll let you grab that. Yeah. Perfect. So this one, again, very intimidating. A lot of great flavor in that one. And it's, it's sweet and creamy, similar to the butternut squash. Okay. So it's a great mashed alternative. And that's the recipe that I wanted to share with you Okay, today well, do share. Well. Yes. Do share. But you know what? We do need a little help in prepping. Yes. So tell me, like, can you cut this I for us? I would love to. I don't know about you. Don't you find it hard to cut a squash? <laughs> So I find it so hard. You want to cut it this way first and kind of separate the, the, the ball to the the thinner part. Now okay. Make sure you have a sharp knife because a sharp knife is a safe knife. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. Well, you know, so. that really helps me because I don't know about you folks, but I've been cutting long ways yeah, it's more a difficult lot. That so, way. okay, so cut the bigger end off. There cut we go. The bottom okay. off. There you we go. We got her off. So now you can nice. work with two separate pieces. So from here, when you have the, the thinner part here, you can take your knife and just run it across that oh, way okay. to cut it that way. And then this one here, you just scoop out the seeds, like a little bowl. Oh, yes. Right? Okay. And then you, can, you work with two separate halves. So it's not as, uh, as difficult. And oh, then from there, you can cube it and roast it. Yeah. You can mash it. You can put it in soup. I love butternut squash. Well, we took a poll and we asked squash versus turnip. What would you pick? Oh, squash. <laughs> squash all I the love, way. Well, 20 squash. voted for squash and three <laughs> voted for turnip. So you're okay, right. Perfect. You're right. And you know what? I, my mother-in-law had a great turnip puff recipe that was oh, the only nice. way I would eat turnip, but I can eat squash all day yes. long. And there's so many great right? varieties of winter squash this time of year. Yeah. yeah. So, so the recipe I wanted yes. to share for Please Thanksgiving, do. something different, is a buttercup squash mash. Oh. So this is the buttercup that we were okay. talking about. So quarter it roast it off for yeah. about 45 minutes to an hour okay. and then once it's cooled enough for you to handle scoop out the inside okay. put that in your blender or food processor mix it with some garlic powder ginger mm. powder a bit of olive oil lemon juice salt and pepper wow. and that's a great uh, mashed potato alternative and that's all at 700club.ca the yes. recipes from all this week are there you can download them so even though she just rhymed it off you just download <laughs> your recipe so when you say roast it yes. what's the temperature in the oven 350 to 400, okay. anywhere in there is fine. Okay, for yeah. any roasting. And do you always base with oil when you roast? You don't have to. Okay. Um, for the mashed potato, you, I, I wouldn't. Okay. Um, just leave it dry and then scoop it out because then you're going to blend it with all the other uh, right. ingredients. Because sometimes I find it gets a little gunky or a little over oily. Maybe I get, I'm too generous exactly. on the oil. Okay. <laughs> Would you cut it in half or can you cut it like a bowl? Cut it in half and okay. then quarter it. So you'll have nice. four pieces and then roast nice. it that way. Okay, well, it's been such a great week. We've learned so much. We've gone through a whole bunch of different vegetables, way to cook them. Thank you so much, Shauna. It's been so much fun. Yeah, we've, <laughs> it's great. And I hope that you felt encouraged too. And like happy cooking, right? Yeah. This weekend as you, cook your, as you cook your Thanksgiving, be thankful that you can cook, right? 
Absolutely. That's right. <laughs> Psalm 28, 7 says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song, I praise him. Well, there's a good verse Amen. to head into Thanksgiving weekend. So happy Thanksgiving to you and happy Thanksgiving happy to you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Yeah.